Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 12th of November 1990, British computer scientist Tim Berners Lee published the first formal proposal for the World Wide Web. His hypertext project would be accessed via a piece of software that he referred to as a browser. In less than two months, Berners-Lee had moved from proposal to developing the first four key parts of the web, a browser which he called World Wide Web and which was spelled as one word without spaces, a web editor, a web server and the first ever web pages. At the time, Berners-Lee was working at CERN, the European Organisation for Nuclear Research. His role was initially as a communications engineer, but after a short time in back in Britain with another company, he returned to CERN as a fellow. During his previous tenure, he had developed a way to use hypertext to improve the way that researchers could share and update information across departments within the facility. By the time he returned, the internet, that's the name given to the global connection of different computers and networks together, basically a network of networks, well, it was expanding exponentially. Berners-Lee described the creation of the World Wide Web as just putting the TCP IP technology, which made up the internet, together with other previously developed technologies such as hypertext and DNS. He was really just putting different ingredients together. This idea initially met with a very muted response outside CERN, so it was operated internally until it made its debut on the internet on the 6th of August 1991, following a post by its inventor on a news group. Within just five years, the World Wide Web began to be adopted by people and companies that weren't connected with science or academia, and it has seemingly been dominated by photographs of cats ever since. Thank you.